transfers, but let's just, uh, you know, a, a quick nod to a legend uh, who passed away in Italian football, Gigi Riva, um, most known for uh, leading Cali to a Scudetto in 1970, but also is Italy's all-time leading scorer, 42 caps, 35 goals. Um, certainly a goal rate that is never, I mean, I'm never going to be matched. Uh, you know, and in in, in, at least in our lifetime in the Italian national uh, team. Um, but the total number of goals themselves, 35, is that beatable, do you think? I I just think with the incons- – I mean, another answer that I'm going to give in our lifetime, no, with the inconsistency of the striker position, and not only that, the turnover of the strikers in the Italian national team in terms of the number of games that they can have the opportunity to play in. The one thing that I would come back and say that there is a chance for an Italian striker to break this is that Italy, as a national team, is modernizing their game more. They are attacking more. You know, Gigi Riva did this in a lengthy era of Catanaccio, um, where really the striker was relied upon to bring all the goals. When you look at all of the Italy teams, I mean, you took Gigi Riva from those Italy teams, Schilacci with Italy in 1990. Um, I want to say it was uh, Vieri in 98. Um, and then I think again in 02. In 2006, I don't think anyone had – Totti had two goals, and that led the team amazingly enough in winning the World Cup. Um, but now you're, you know, in an era where they're, where Italy's attacking or there's a chance. But I overall think 35 is going to be hard to top. Yeah, it's going to – it is going to be – well – it's not surprising that that's the number that's uh, the, the all-time top scorer because, as you mentioned, Italy has been known for playing defensive football, almost a defensive hockey, defensive football, and that's what they prided themselves on, and we've kind of lost our ways from that aspect of it, and we are modernizing ourselves, and obviously having a manager like um, like Spalletti is going to help us help the, a striker, a striker get to that level, and, all, and just all the managers in general, you know, had Conte recently, and... Uh, you can imagine some of the guys will come in after Spalletti once his time is done with the Azzurri. It is more modern football for 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 Italian football, and so I think eventually will be. I mean, like Brazil with all the numbers that they had, their their all time leading goal scorer number was like seventy five or something, and Neymar broke that fairly easily because of the way they play and all the goals that they happen. So I imagine it will eventually be broken. Uh, by whom I don't know, and I don't know if it's anyone that's in the present team that can do it. Um, but like you said, it's consistency. It's hard. Like, how many great Italian strikers have we had? And, and you, you rattle the names of some of them, you know, Del Piero and, and Totti and, and Baggio, those guys, and none of them ever got it. It has to be someone who's going to have a long career, right? Um, had, like, uh, Luca Toni started with, with this Azzurri at, from a young age and gone through. Maybe he could have it, right, because he, he has that, he's that poaching ability. But, yeah, it's going to be broken. Just don't know by who yet. And maybe one of these youngsters that we see in, in Italian football now will be the one to do that. But, um you know, I, I imagine a lot more goals coming in from the Azzurri compared to what was the past just because we're not focused on defense anymore. It's more about playing attractive and entertaining football and, and trying to get better results via that avenue versus the defensive route just because we don't have any uh, defensive horses like we've had generations uh, in, 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 in Italy. So, uh, yeah, it'll take time, but I don't know who will be Italy of mystery, man. Maybe it's Camarda. Maybe he's right. Could be. <laughs> I believe... I believe he was a, a pretty much a bandiera for uh, Cali. I mean, he played for Legnano uh, prior yeah. to that. Yeah. But uh, he spent 14, 14 seasons with Cali, 315 appearances, 164 goals. That, that Scudetto uh, winning team in 1970. Uh, they were a runner up, I believe, the year before. Um, you know, so, and then he was part of the uh, World Cup runner up team. Uh, in 1970 as well, uh, you know, against that, they just ran into that buzzsaw of a Brazil team. Some guy named Pele in charge of that. I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with his work. It's um, it, it's funny how this came up today, and it, it, it maybe his timing is everything because obviously the rounds are going around about Osimhen with his interview with CBS Sports Galasso, where he's basically just saying, "This is my last season in City and I'm going to England." He, you know, in so many words, he didn't say it, but it, you know, he said it, uh, and you know. These days, players do not stay with one team. You know, there's the Totis of the world, the De Rossis of the world. Those guys don't happen as much anymore. It's very few. Even Messi eventually left Barcelona, right? Um, mm-hmm. And so, 
having a guy like uh, Gigi Riva stay with one club for so long, it's just something to be applauded with, and you're. It's gonna be more rare to see than not these days when you have a a talisman of him or a Totti stay with the one club for majority of their career uh, versus these guys just hop around looking for, you know, get to get, to, get their way to the top of the Mbappes, the, the Halans, um, the Bellinghams, all those kind of guys. Um, it's a, it's a new era of, of football and you really have to have a player who not only loves the football he's playing at, but the play, the city that he's at. Um, exactly. You know, so that's going to be hard to, I think, achieve. Though, Di Natale was also one like like that, right? Berardi seems to be that one for, for Sassuolo. Uh, if you want to put him in that that lineup, I don't wouldn't I wouldn't myself. But, you know, it's going to be a rarity these days. Yep, yep. We shall, uh, you know, much respect to arguably... Uh, well, not argue, but certainly one of Italy's best players of all time. Yeah. If you wanted a all-time Italy national team for the ages, it's very hard to leave him off of it as the starting striker, uh, considering his record, not yeah. just for the national team, but also for his club. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, rest easy, Gigi. Uh, and, uh, you know, certainly before our time, but, uh, you know, a, a legend nonetheless. So, 